children. How are you? I greet all everyone that's watching us with the feast of the Lord Jesus. The lesson for today is keep the good deposit. And you are going to learn what is a good deposit and how to keep the good deposit in your heart. But before we're going to pray to our God, let us close our eyes. Lord, we plead for the power that's in the blood of Jesus. We ask forgiveness for our sins. Renew the fellowship with you, Lord. Give a blessing to this lesson. Glorify your name. Visit each one, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're going to praise the Lord with the song, I Know That on the Cross. I know that on the cross he poured out his blood. My Lord died there. But on the third day he resurrected to give me heaven of love. I want Jesus to save me. I want Jesus to save me. I want Jesus to save me. With him, I want to go to heaven. In heaven, in heaven, in heaven, I want to live with my Jesus. In heaven, in heaven, in heaven, I want to live with my Jesus. Let's continue praising the Lord with the song, My Joy. My joy is to grow with my Lord, the Lord of my life, my great love. To you I will surrender all glory and praise. Here I will work in your work of love. Use me, Lord, to preach to the sinner. Use me, Lord, in your work of love. Use me, Lord. To edify my house, use me, Lord. I want to glorify you. Use me, Lord, in every place. Use me, Lord, until my Jesus returns. Now I will show you the verse of the lesson that's in Second Timothy chapter one, verse fourteen. Pay attention. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. In this verse, the Lord is telling us to keep the good deposit. But do you know what a deposit is? Deposit are things that we receive in our lives. We receive good things, things of value, but we also receive bad things, things that don't have any value. We receive the good and the bad deposit. The good deposit is the one that takes us to eternal life. And for you to understand it better, I'm going to tell you the story of a servant and his name was Timothy. Timothy was a servant of the Lord that he grew up in a home where only the mother and, niece and his grandmother Lloyd was a servant of the Lord. They taught him about the word of God and the faith in Jesus. But the father was a Greek, and the Greek, they served many other gods. So, Timothy grew up hearing about contrary teachings that were against the word of God. Think with me. Timothy received the good teaching and the bad teaching. He received the good deposit and the bad deposit. He grew up listening to the word of God, but he also grew up listening about teaching about other gods. And he had to choose. Which one did he choose? He chose to serve the Lord. He chose to keep the word of the Lord in his heart. And so he grew up and he became a preacher of the word of God, announcing to everyone that Jesus died, that he resurrected on the third day, and he is our only Savior. Timothy kept the true faith 
that he received from God in his heart since he was a child when his mother and his grandmother taught him about the word of God. Just like you guys, you are learning each lesson at each service about the word of God. But it wasn't just the faith that Timothy received from God. He received many blessings. He received the love of God. He received tameness, which is the ability to re be well when everything's so difficult. He also received the word of God. Everything that Timothy received were blessings of the Lord. They are part of the spiritual treasures. But we also receive many blessings, right? You receive a blessing from the Lord. So, the blessings that we receive are part of our treasure that is spiritual, our good deposit. But what are we going to do so that we don't lose this treasure that's in our hearts? How? Do you know how? This way. Praying. Praying and asking each day for the Lord to fill with His Holy Spirit. Many children are growing in homes, just like Timothy, that their family members don't know the Lord or don't serve the Lord. And they even do things that don't please the Lord. But what should we do? First, we should love and respect all. Second, we should pray for them so that they could have an encounter with the Lord Jesus and salvation. And third, to do just like Timothy, to keep the faith that the Lord gave us in our hearts. Because by faith, we are saved. Now that I explain to you what is the good and bad deposit, I want to know if you have learned. Let's go. Our salvation, which is our joy to seek the Lord to be at church. Shall we keep it in our hearts? Yes or no? Yes. We should keep it in our hearts. It's part of the good deposit. What about faith that the Lord gave us? We should keep it in our hearts? Yes, it's part of the good deposit. What about the music that we listen to, those bad music that don't please the Lord with ugly words? Should we keep it? No, we should not keep it. And what about the friendships? The friendships that wants to make us distant from the Lord. Should we keep it in our hearts? No. We should not keep any of this in our hearts. We should only keep the things of the Lord's in our minds and in our hearts. But for this, it's necessary for you to try hard and to go to the house of the Lord. Ask help of your family to take you to church. Listen to the class and pay attention to the service. It's necessary for you to Try and to remain in the presence of the Lord and to keep the faith in your hearts. Until when? Until Jesus returns and he will return. Maranatha, the Lord Jesus comes. Let us now praise the Lord. I want to be faithful. I want to be faithful to you, Jesus. To always do your will, to keep your word, that it is light and life to my back. Faithfully, faithfully, faithfully until the end. Faithfully, faithfully, until my Jesus returns. I want to walk in your light, Lord. Only this way am I safe. I want to proclaim in a loud voice, Jesus resurrected on the third day. He is alive and reigns in my life. Faithfully, faithfully, faithfully until the end. Faithfully, faithfully, until my Jesus returns. Jesus is alive and he reigns in my life. 
His return will not delay. Now we're going to praise our God so we can end our lesson. Lord, we praise your name. We thank you because great is your mercy for us. Thank you for having filled our hearts with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for this lesson that you may be with us throughout all of the days. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And to all the peace of the Lord and until our next lesson.